answer. Question number seven. Carefully preserved here is the table that Talleyrand used for negotiations during the 1815 Peace Congress held in what? Aust Granby Gordon. Um, Vienna. Vienna, the correct answer. What Austrian capital city was the rest of the question. Soaring majestically here is the Manchurian crane, a symbol of long life and happiness in what Asian country? Unhappily divided at the 38th... Granby, Pesoilo. Korea. Korea, 38th parallel after a bitter 1950s war, correct. Before riding on his mother's back, the baby koala traveled in her pouch because koalas belong to... Norfolk Collegiate, Mitchell. Marsupials. They are marsupials. Belong to what order? Marsupials or marsupialia? In this 18th century painting by Francois Boucher, Juno is begging a favor from what great god of the wind? Norfolk Collegiate, Mitchell. Aeolus. Aeolus, the correct answer, and that concludes the visual round. Check the scores before we move on. Granby, 340 points now, and Norfolk Collegiate, 250 points. Time for the listening round, where correct answers again are worth 10 points and correct down 10. Listening clues this time. Find it on an alternating basis. Norfolk Collegiate, you're going first, as I recall. So if listen carefully, here's your first listening clue. <laughs> All right, Norfolk Collegiate, back by the wild and crazy Los Angeles band Fishbone. This is what veteran rock and roller singling, uh, singing the Lead Belly classic Rock Island Line. Did you hear the voice? No answer. No answer. Little Richard. Little Richard is who it was. Madman. Granby, listen carefully. Your first listening clip. Sometimes I lived in the country. Sometimes I live in town. Sometimes I have a good notion to jump in the river and drown. Granby, credited with inventing the sun surf and harmony filled California sound, this is what rock genius back after nearly a decade of a very personal problems. Brian Wilson? Good for 10 points. The correct answer, Brian Wilson, formerly of the Beach Boys. Norfolk Collegiate, listen carefully. Your last listening clue. When are you going to do it? In a month. I won't come. You got to come. You got to give me away. I didn't give you away the first time. And I had bad luck. You no, know, maybe if you, if you gave me away and I got married in a church, in a wedding dress, instead of down at the city hall with strangers standing outside the door, then maybe I wouldn't have had the bad luck I had. Maybe. You know, Pop, I had no reception. No wedding cake, no nothing. Collegiate, after garnering accolades for her performance in Mask, this is what actress who won an Academy Award for her work in Moonstruck? Cher. Cher, yes, the correct answer. All right, Granby, listen carefully, your last clue. When you're writing a novel that takes place on a submarine, it's not a bad idea to know the name of the instruments that the captain speaks through. <laughs> I used to know that. And your similes, uh, need a little bit of work. His, uh, his guts oozed nice like a melted malted. Well, it, it's, um, a little... Too harsh? A tad. Granby, after roles in television Soap and Saturday Night Live, this is what actor who found fame in Throw Mama from the Train? Billy Crystal. That was him, Billy Crystal, and that concludes the listening round. We're going to check the score after halftime. We have a category round, a timed round, a grab bag round to go, but let's take a break at halftime. Meet the coaches and the alternates and see the school. We'll begin with Granby. The blue and gold of Granby High School, celebrating 50 years of excellence in education. Located in the Ward's Corner area of Norfolk, Granby High School provides the student of today with the skills needed for tomorrow. Under the instructional leadership of Dr. T.R. Smith, the Granby family strives to achieve its most important mission, teaching and learning. Okay, Granby High School, let's introduce you to one of the coaches for the team, Mr. Fred Hartnett. Thank you very much for your help in preparing the squad, Mr. Hartnett. Now, if you will, Gordon, introduce your alternates, please. 
Our alternates from my right are Leah Jarowitz, Rebecca Dunlap, Debbie Shipman, and Heather Higgins. We'd also like to thank Mr. Schaefer, Mr. Kane, Ms. Mrs. Dorch, Mrs. Joyner, Ms. Gutterman, Ms. Washington, and Ms. Mosby for their assistance in preparing for this match. All right, thank you, Gordon. Now we turn our attention to Norfolk Collegiate and introduce you to their coach, Ms. Krista Bale. Thank you very much for your efforts, Ms. Bale. Mitchell, if you would, introduce your alternates, please. From the left, our alternates are Jeremy Wilson, John Woldridge, and Jeffrey O'Neill. All right. We'll take a look at Norfolk Collegiate, then back for the second half. Norfolk Collegiate is an independent college preparatory school. Its two campuses serve over 500 students in the Tidewater area. The upper school is headed by Principal Mrs. Susan Mulvey. Virtually all graduates continue their education at four-year colleges or universities. More than two-thirds of the upper school students are members of an interscholastic athletic team, and virtually all students are active in one or more clubs. Norfolk Collegiate welcomes inquiries concerning admissions, and students are admitted without regard to race, creed, or national origin. We're ready for the second half. Let's check the score. Granby High School, 360 points. Norfolk Collegiate, 250 points. And time for the category round. In this round, 12 questions, up 10 points for correct answers, down 20 for incorrect answers. Keep that in mind. Wait to be recognized by school and by name. You are in direct competition, so hands on the buzzers. Get ready to scale some high walls, teams, because this category is all about walls. Real walls, fictional walls, all kind of walls. They're conferring in this round, and if you're ready, Watch your monitor. Number one, please. Joshua made the walls come tumbling Granby, down. Granby, Jericho. At Jericho, Persoilo. Correct answer. Number two, Asian country with 1,500 miles. Granby, People's Republic of China. China, the correct answer. Number three, poet wrote the mending Nova wall. Nova Collegiate, Mitchell. Frost. Frost, the correct answer, Mitchell. Number four, nursery rhyme character fell off of a wall. Granby, Gordon. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty is the correct answer. Number five, Confederate general nicknamed Stonewall. Granby, Gordon. Jackson. Jackson, the correct answer. Thomas J. Jackson. Number six, European city divided Granby, by... Granby, Berlin. Berlin, 1961, correct. Number seven, wall in this Red Sox park. Granby, Gordon. Fenway Park. Fenway Park is called the Green Monster, correct answer. Number eight, Cervantes wrote, the walls have ears in this work. Norfolk Collegiant, Mitchell. Don Quixote. The correct answer, Mitchell. Good for 10 points. Number nine, city with the wailing wall. Granby, Pasoilo. Jerusalem. Jerusalem, correct answer. Number 10, Hersey's novel, The Wall, set in this Polish... Granby, Gordon. Warsaw. Warsaw, the correct answer. Number 11, English poet wrote Flower in the Crannied Wall. Time, Alfred Lord Tennyson. Number 12, president during 1929 Wall Street Granby, collapse. Granby, Gordon. Hoover. Hoover, the correct answer. Herbert Hoover, and that concludes that category round. Have a long way to go. We have eight questions in this round and 25 in the final round. A lot of points, over 500 possible. Let's take a look at the scores before we move on. Granby, 450. Norfolk Collegiate, 270. And in this, the timed round, there are eight questions, a minute, 30 seconds, to answer all eight. If those questions are answered correctly, all of them, will earn a 25-point bonus. Very important. Remember, 20 points for correct, 20 points off for incorrect, minus 10 for a past question. Let's see, Collegiate's going first, so I'll have Gordon pick a packet of questions. One, two, or three, please. Two. Packet number two. For Tony Mitchell, Ben, and Curtis. Eight questions, gentlemen. You see the clock in the corner of the monitor. Allow you to keep up with your time. In 1967, the National Aeronautic Association gave its Wright Brothers Trophy to Igor Sikorsky, who developed what type of aircraft that takes off and lands vertically? The Harrier jump jet. Is incorrect. Helicopter. Sikorsky and the helicopter. Number two. Andrew Jackson had no cabinet department dealing specifically with food. But his Kitchen. close... Pardon me? Kitchen cabinet. Kitchen cabinet. Correct. All neutral sentiment in the United States sank with it, said one writer about what canard liner whose sinking fed U.S. sentiment for entering World War I. Lusitania. 